In this short demonstration, I'll show you how to transform any rectangular equation in terms of x and y to polar form. I'll be showing you two questions, and we'll start with the first one. Transform the rectangular equation 2x plus 3y is equal to 5 in polar form. The trick when it comes to these questions is to replace all instances of x and all instances of, of y with r and theta. That being said, what can we replace this x and this y with given these four formulas? Now also keep in mind that once you have converted the x's and the y's into r and theta, you need to solve for y. So if you look closely, we can convert this x to r cosine theta, and we can replace this y with r sine theta. Let's do that. Now, a lot of students will make the mistake into thinking, well, that's it. We've, we're done. But that's not necessarily true. By convention, we like to solve, solve for r once we've reverted the x's and the y's into their respective expression. So once you end up with this, you have to factor out the r. And if you factor out the r, you end up with 2 cosine theta plus 3 sine theta. And that is equal to 5. And to solve for r, you would divide both sides by this, where you end up with 5 over 2 cosine theta plus 3 sine theta. There you have it. We have successfully transformed this rectangular equation into polar form. Let's move on to question number two. In question number two, they ask, convert this Cartesian equation, x squared plus y squared is equal to 4, to a polar coordinate. You'll notice that in our formulas, r equaled to the following. Let's write that down below. r is equal to the square root of x squared plus y squared. That being said, what, how does this and this equation differ? You'll notice that this equation has x squared plus y squared. This equation has x squared plus y squared, except that for this one, there is a square root over it. We can get rid of that square root by squaring both sides. And if we do that, we end up with r squared is equal to x squared plus y squared. And what we can do now is substitute this with r squared. And if we do that, we end up with r squared is equal to 4. Now remember, you always want to end up with r is equal to. So the last step would be to square root both sides, and we end up with r is equal to 2. There you have it. That is how to transform any rectangular equation to polar form. If you have any questions related to this or any other question that you need help with, whether it be a homework question or a curiosity question, use our website at biology-forums.com and ask your questions there. If you found this video helpful, please support us by liking it below. Thank you.